Welcome back to Amelia River Golf Club on Golfer's Guide TV Magazine. We're so fortunate to have joining us Ed Bow, Director of Instruction here at the Amelia Island Plantation. Ed, thanks for being on with us. Happy to be here. Folks, we are so fortunate to have Ed here in North Florida now. Ed is a top 25 ESPN instructor and also is the trainer for all the ESPN golf schools and their instructors. Today, Ed, we're talking about striking the ball cleaner, crisper, all the way throughout the game. Doesn't that make the game more fun? Oh, I'll tell you what. I mean. I would like to learn. I'm looking forward to I'm excited about what we're doing here today, folks, because we are so fortunate to have this guy here with all of this 20 plus years of knowledge. Ed, talking about striking the ball, I know we we're talking a little before we started, we we're talking about swing plane a little bit in this first segment. Well, swing plane is one of those things, Mike, that uh, if you work on it, it's going to give you consistency. And in 20 years of teaching, like you mentioned, I get that question all the time. Ed, can you help me become more consistent? Well, the easiest way, folks, to get more consistent is to work on your swing plane, and I'm going to explain a couple things how to do that. Perfect. Let's get into it right now. Well, the swing plane, you hear about it all the time. All the, the TV analysts talk about it, but the swing plane is basically the simplest way to understand it is your club sits at an angle, and this angle right here is an angle that you want to try to keep your club in during the course of your swing so that as you go back, this angle here matches up to this angle. If I move this way, you can see my club is in too vertical of a plane. It doesn't match up to my original angle at, at address. If I move this way, I'm very far underneath that. It would be called flat. So if you can work on getting your club to match up to that original angle, and an easy way to visualize this is your club should point down towards the ball or the target line during the course of your swing. It'll point there on the way back, and on the way through, it'll point there again. So that's a very simple way to understand how to get your swing plane more consistent, and working on that will always help you. All right, now how can this, working on this swing plane, how is this going to make us a better ball striker? What is it gonna do for us? Well, the great thing about working on the plane, I mean, how many times do you hit it out off the toe or the heel and it doesn't feel good? So we all wanna hit the ball in the middle of the face all the time. If you work on your plane, it gives you the best chance to hit the middle of the face all the time. The other thing is, is when you're swinging well, you hit the ground in the right place. If your swing plane is off, a lot of times you'll hit behind the ball or you'll bottom out in front of the ball, which makes you hit the top half of the ball. And a lot of people think you're looking up, but it's actually your swing plane that's causing you to top it. Isn't that something, I'll tell you. So you hit the center of the club, a novel idea, and you also hit the ground where you want to hit it. You're not hitting behind it or you're not hitting it thin. Now, direction is important because we hit it right or left right. a lot of times because of our swing plane. And that means the club face is not squaring up. And very important, we want to teach you how, but we also want to teach you why. So if you're hitting shots to the right, a lot of times your swing plane is too vertical. It causes your arm to rotate like this, which is called a block. You can see how open that club face is. You're gonna hit it out off the toe a lot and you're gonna send a lot of shots to the right. That's a product of the swing plane being too vertical. A lot of golfers burn out their glove right here. Right. When the club swings too steep, the club actually twists in your hands. You wear out your gloves like they're going out of style. So you work on your swing plane, you don't go through your gloves as much. Pretty cool. <laughs> now the other thing is, is people who swing too flat. They'll hit it in the neck. Sometimes they'll hit those pitch outs to the right. We never say that S word in right. golf school. But uh, if your swing's too low, that'll send you into here. Your arms will go too far behind you. They're going to fly too far out in front of you. You're going to hit it in the neck. Also, when your arms swing too much around, they over rotate, which closes the face a lot. You'll hit the ball low. You'll send it to the left. So swing plane can teach you a lot about what you're doing. And, and it's very important to be able to analyze that when you play golf. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a lot to the swing plane, but you kept it very simple. Well, that's the part of our golf school is we keep things simple. We know that people improve faster if we get them to focus on one or two things. Which is all about what this show's about, is getting people to yeah. play better golf. That's why we have great instructors like you on here. Yeah. All right, well, let's put it together and let's knock one up on the green here. All right, I'm gonna work on my swing plane, get that club to go up and down on a good angle. Right up on the green. Oh, there you go. Great shot right there. I enjoyed that too. Right up near the yeah. hole and it sounded crisp and you hit it right where you're supposed to. Right in the middle of the face. How about that? That's what it's all about. Swing plane. Work on the swing plane. Folks, we'll be right back to Amelia River. You're watching Golfer's Guide TV Magazine.